Today on Board Game Coffee Express, we're taking to the skies with Skyrise from Roxley Games. Let's do this. Skyrise is a competitive two to four player area majority auction game where players take on the role of architects building a sky high metropolis amongst the clouds. Cause let's face it, earth is dirty and we're all sick of it. Now, if you're anything like me, the aesthetics of this box alone is gonna get you. Sure, it looks like the artists behind Tapestry and Bioshock Infinite had a beautiful art baby, but unlike those games, Skyrise is simple to learn, easy to get into, and a lot less killy. Review or not, which this isn't, I can't deny how good this game looks on the table. And this is a prototype. How am I supposed to go through a whole video and not mention how good this looks? Come on, just look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, now that I got that out of my system, let's go over how this game actually plays, espresso style. Ready? Here we go. Players take turns placing bids on little colored areas they want to control by standing these buildings bum side up, like so. The next player can then outbid them by placing a higher bid in the space adjacent to that one, and this daisy chain of bidding continues until people just stop. Losers then take back their topsy-turvy buildings, the winner does a happy little backflip, and of course, sticks the landing, cause that's what winners do! And not only do they control the area and collect this little token for their tableau, they also get to start the next bid. This process of bidding, backflips, and token collecting continues until one player places all their structures. When that happens, the first era ends, players score some stuff, which I'll get into in a bit, and the second era continues with even better bidding buildings and these fancy little monuments with super scoring powers that win all bids. When each player plays all their buildings, the game ends and we move on to scoring. Again, because you do it twice, once after the first era, and then again at the end, but it's different the second time. But you know, those details are for another video. You score points by having the most tall buildings on an island, collecting tokens that match the color of the areas your buildings are on, picking up letters of the alphabet that score based on the holdings of these four party animals, completing objectives set out by these randomly selected panorama cards, collecting these things that just straight up give you extra points, and fulfilling the secret objective cards that were dealt out to you at the start of the game. Oh, and if you're the first player to place their last structure, you earn yourself a sweet 10 point bonus, and the runner up gets four points. The token for that didn't come with the prototype, but trust me, you'll, you'll get your points. What's interesting about this whole bidding thing is that you know exactly what everyone at the table is capable of bidding because all their possible bids are laid out in front of them, which makes you feel like you're playing the person more so than the numbers. In my experience with the game, I've learned that I'm good at getting what I want, although I've never won a game, so clearly my problem lies in poor decision making more so than people reading. If Skyrise sounds like a game you'd be interested in, check them out on Kickstarter. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.